Hey guys, hey Flame here. Just want to wish y'all happy Valentine's Day and to the people who are not taken and single, happy single awareness to every pony and everybody. Um, this is this is the first time I'm actually doing a fic reading on Valentine's Day. So um, since this has like a couple of chapters on it, I thought I'd just do like one chapter of the story. If you want to um check out the sto check out the story and the rest of the chapters, the link is gonna be in the description below. I'm just gonna read just one chapter that I only have like eight something eight hundred something words. That's pretty much it. But um with that said, I made flame and I hope you enjoyed this video. On Valentine's Day, written by Ali Kitty, read by Eight Flame, Princess Luna and Twilight Sparkle. Collapsed as soon as the doors closed behind the last guest, exhausted. Will these balls ever get less boring? I asked through the air. I felt a hoof warm me between my wings. I feel your fatigue as well, Twilight, Luna said. But matters of state do tend to take priority over comfort. I looked up at the alicorn. I know, I know, I said, rising. But you would think that they would give us time to mingle and maybe sit down? Luna chuckled, moving over and giving me a nuzzle. Believe me, I have asked my sister many times the same question. She looked over as the staff member started to do light cleaning and cleaning away the leftover food. Maybe we should move on to a more suitable local, she said, her smile warming my heart. What did you have in mind? I asked, smiling back. This is amazing, I cried as I looked around the landscape. It may have been a little barren, but the view was amazing. I am glad that you find the view pleasing, Luna said, looking around. Even after so many years, the sight of this far-reaching night lifts my spirits up. I looked up at the sky, more stars than I had ever seen from my balcony on my castle, on my room at the palace. I couldn't even begin to recognize them all. I turned to take in the entirety of the sky and stopped as a new sight rose into view. The planet turned beneath me, a glowing blue and green gem with fluffy white streaks slowly drifting across its surface. Is that? Yes, Luna said, coming up and draping a wing across me. And the question is below us as we speak, she pointed a hoof at the planet. And that is Ponyville, nestled in the valley by the mountain range. I stared at my home, seeing the gleam of my castle. This is beautiful, Luna, I said as I nestled her neck. Thank you for showing it to me. For a thousand years, these views served to taunt me as I sat imprisoned here, she said, looking down for a moment. After you freed me, I was having difficulty looking at the moon as I raised it, and I hid my gaze from the domain that was to be mine. She turned her head up to face me. But now I gaze at the sky and smile fondly at the fact that I have friends that enjoy the view that I reveal each day. She returned my nuzzle and sat to watch the planet spin beneath us. Do you know what today is? I asked. I have difficulty keeping track of days, she said, rubbing the back of her neck. Her mane shimmering in the starlight. It's a consequence of splitting the day in half. I giggled and leaned into her. Once the sun rises, it's hot and news day, I said. And I can't think of anything more perfect than sharing this view with my special sun pony. Luna gazed down at me, but not as much as she once had. The years between our saving her and today had seen me grow a few inches, starting to resemble cadence and frame. Gravity had been excited about being able to design new gowns for me. The thin ring of brilliance started to show around the edge of the planet. Then I should probably complete this properly, Luna said, kissing me just as the sun falls fully. I woke up in my bed, the tinkle of Luna's kiss still on my lips. I smiled and trotted down the hall to the tower that housed the Tower of Duty. Just as I approached the door, Luna came through looking sleepy. She perked up a bit when she saw me and trotted over, giving me a dignified nose. Her heart said, you stay, she whispered into my ear. I pushed my head up under her chin, turning into her slightly. Aligned my body with hers. That was beautiful, Luna, I whispered. Thanks for sharing it with me. You are most welcome, Twilight, she whispered in return. And as much as I would like to spend this day with you, I regret I must retire for a short rest. I grinned. I am feeling a little tired, I said, yawning. She glanced at me, a small smile crossing her face. We do seem fatigued, she said. Perhaps you should return to bed. I woke after a short while, finding Luna's wing draped across me. The dream I had shared with her was still fresh and sharp in my mind. I leaned over and kissed her gently, settling back into the bed. 
Princess Luna stood, turning slightly as a smile spread across her face. Of course you can have more scones, Tia, she said, tittered. I have plenty of jam for them. I giggled as I enjoyed her warmth. Save one for me, Celestia, I said as I started to doze again.